so Donald Trump is uh, now in Manhattan. Uh, he's, uh, as we speak, in a courtroom or in a, uh, in a court building, in a, in a deposition room. Um, he's not meeting with Letitia James, the, the woman that he called a racist, because he said that she's only going after him because he's white. Yeah, I'm sure that's Letitia James' number one criteria, right? Aren't you? Uh, this, uh, Trump is so pathetic. I mean, it's just like, I, I think across America, people are not just exhausted by him, they're disgusted by him. This pathetic, whiny little man with his whiny little hands, it just, it's sad. But anyhow, he's meeting with them. He, he took the fifth over 400 times the last time he was deposed by them. I, I was surprised, frankly, that this appearance uh, was just a deposition, that he wasn't a grand jury, uh, you know, where you can't take the fifth. But, um, you know, I'm guessing that he'll probably take the fifth 400 more times. Basically, what they're arguing is that, uh, you know, it's what Michael Cohen testified under oath to Congress about, that he was there in the room, that whenever they were trying to uh, get their insurance bills reduced or their tax bills re reduced, they lied about and, and reduced the value of their properties. And whenever they were trying to get bank loans so that Donald could live high on the hog and buy another property, they inflated the value of their properties. Both of those things are crimes. Deflating the value of your primes is insurance fraud and bank fraud. And inflating the value of your pro excuse me, inflating the value of your property is bank fraud. Deflating the value of your property is both insurance fraud and tax fraud. And uh, this, this lawsuit is going to uh, happen in October. So it's going to be a real interesting year for, for Donald Trump. And also, they're not just going after Trump. They're going after all three of his kids because they all signed off on all these documents. So, Meanwhile, uh, Jack Smith has issued a whole new batch of subpoenas looking into the possibility that Donald Trump committed wire fraud. Now, this is fascinating. After he lost the election uh, in, in the first week of November of, of 2020, he continued to be president until January 20th. You know, he continued to be president for another, what, seven, eight weeks, something like that. Um, and during that time, Donald Trump was sending out emails to millions and millions of people. I was getting four, five, six, and some, some days seven of them a day uh, from Donald Trump begging for money and claiming that he needed the money to fight the fraudulent election. Well, he knew it wasn't a fraudulent election. We, we know now that Mark Meadows told him the, that he lost the election, that, that uh, uh, Bill Barr, his attorney general, actually looked into it and came back and, and told Donald Trump, no, you lost fair and square. Um, everybody told him this. You know, uh, even now we're discovering you know, in the depositions in the, in the Dominion case with Fox News that even Rudy Giuliani acknowledged to Fox News hosts that they had no evidence the election was stolen. It was all a lie. Well, it turns out it's a crime to lie to people in order to extract money from them. And if that money comes via the internet, just like it used to be via the post office, that's called mail fraud or wire fraud. And that has serious, I mean, you know, multi-year in prison penalties. And according to this, uh, this reporting, a number of people who were former Trump advisors, former Trump campaign ads, former Republican operatives, and other consultants who were involved in the 2020 campaign have been dragged before a Washington grand jury where you can't take the fifth, or you can, but it, it could be very problematic. Uh, talk to Susan McDougall about that. And uh, she tried that and ended up in jail for a year in the Bill Clinton uh, the Whitewater case. So, you know, other shoes dropping. I'm waiting for Trump to be charged with espionage. I, you know, I recall when we had to pull one of our top spies out of Russia because the CIA believed that Donald Trump had burned that spy to Putin. I recall when the CIA was pulling spies out all over the world because Trump had apparently released some, some information that was causing them to get killed.